Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and today I want to talk to you about backing up and restoring. These are, these are two subject matters that I am really passionate about, and I know it's like, really? That's what you're passionate about? Um, it's so important. Um, you know, our data today is our inventory. It's our crown jewels. It's the thing that we create and we need to protect, you know, as I create content for my clients, as I create content for myself. It's all stored as data, sound data, video data, whatever it is. And to that end, backing up and restoring is something that I have become very involved with over my life, having suffered some really bad disasters with uh, backup disks not even being part of my life and also backup disks being destroyed. Um, here's the thing. Most people, they don't back up at all. They don't have any backup whatsoever. They're just merrily going through life. And there are two types of people. There are people that have uh, had a really sad moment when their computer has failed and they have no backup. And there are people who will have a very sad moment because they haven't backed up. Now, I haven't had that issue in a long time. But when I did, I started thinking about and researching the best ways to doing this. Um, a lot of people have a single backup disk sitting next to their computer. And that's not a great idea either, because if a disaster befalls your computer, a fire, a flood, uh, uh, you know, uh, some sort of a power sag, which can harm the insides, the electronics of your computer and your hard drive, both can go away at the same time. And that's actually what happened to me that made me start researching things. So um, my backup system is, by many people's standards, insanely over-engineered. But by the world of, uh, you know, digital uh, uh, companies, people, companies that have big servers and so on, it's pretty tame. They have much denser backup strategies than I do. So here's what I do. I have five disks, five, uh, sorry, four uh, disks. I have one external hard drive that gets backed up as well. Um, but I have four disks, uh, red, white, blue, and black. This one's the blue one. And <clears throat> each one of those disks is in a carrying case. These are like eight bucks from Amazon. They zip up. They're really nice. And the reason I'm showing you the case will be made clear in a moment. Um, what happens is I always have one of them attached to the computer. When that one is finished backing up the data that I have on both my internal hard drive and on my external hard drive, I swap that out for the next one in the process. The one that was next to my computer goes in the safe and the one that I'm putting in goes into, into use. The one in the safe gets put in my car. The one in my car gets put in a safe deposit box. The one in the safe deposit box, when I go to the bank, gets brought home and is in the next one then used in the system. So there's this round robin of disks. So um, the, that process makes sure that at least one of those disks, if not three of them, are separated from the computer in safe places and should something happen to my entire place, which happened a few months ago when I had the big flood, when the pipes burst, I had pipes burst downstairs. Luckily, it was downstairs, not in my studio. Um, you know, the disaster was not, it wasn't possible to befall the discs that are in other places. So that's my insanely over-engineered system. I have two tips for you today. In addition to do this, do something where you at least have two discs one that's attached to your computer and is backing up, and one that's away from your computer in a safe place, uh, hopefully outside your, uh, your, your living space. But here are a couple things that come up. Um, I'm a Mac guy, and so I use Time Machine. And one of the things that I had a chance to talk to one of my coaches, Max, about, because he, he actually used to have uh, a product that dealt with backups. Um, and he knows backing up, he knows Time Machine, and I had a chance to talk to him about this. I said, look, I'm encrypting this disk when I, uh, when I uh, set it up, when I format it. I was setting it up as uh, case-sensitive, journaled, encrypted. And then when I would add it to my Time Machine group of the four disks, I would encrypt the backups as well. And I asked him just casually, uh, because one of my disks was taking a full week to encrypt, and it was only a few terabytes of data. I said, should it take that long? And he said, well, tell me what you're doing. And he said, oh, what you're doing is you're double encrypting. And yeah, that can take a long time. 
So what his recommendation was, choose one or the other, and what he recommended was to choose encrypting the backups. So what he said to do was don't set up your disk when you format it with disk utility. Don't set it up by doing uh, case-sensitive, journaled, encrypted. Just do case-sensitive, journaled. That's it. So the disk itself is not encrypted. But then when you add that disk to your backups, if you're not doing anything else with that disk, and I recommend that you not use your backup disks for anything other than backups. Don't use it for extra storage. Just use it for backups. That's all you need to do. When you add it to the group in Time Machine, go ahead and click Encrypt This Backup. That way it backs up with the, uh, the Time Machine doing the backup work as opposed to the system doing the backup work. So, um, so that's one tip in addition to do the rotating group. And then another one is <clears throat> when you have external drives, especially these, because they're not SSD drives, they're not solid state uh, drives like is in my computer and is completely silent because it's actually a flash drive. These have platters inside that rotate and they have heads that read and write and it makes just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of noise. And usually that noise is amplified because you've set it on a tabletop, right? So it's sitting on your desk or it's sitting on a riser or it's sitting, you know, somewhere where it has this, um, this surface to amplify the sound. Well, there's a really simple thing you can do to make that noise go completely away. The carrying case is hollow, right? So what I do is when I put my disc on the table next to my computer, instead of putting it right on the surface, I put it on top of the, disc, the, the carrying case. The carrying case acts as a shock absorber and it completely silences that whole little little tiny buzzing that happens when the disc is actually active. So get a rotating set of discs. Make sure you only encrypt the backup in Time Machine rather than encrypting the disc when you set it up in Disk Utility when you format it. And then when you have the disc near your computer and you're recording voiceover, you know, because microphones can pick up a lot of stuff. Uh, make sure that instead of putting it right on the table, you put it on top of the carrying case so that the carrying case can act like a shock absorber. So any other tips you've got for backup? Anything, any disaster stories you want to share? Uh, any wonderful recovery, uh, restoring stories you want to share because you did backup? Put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel where you'll get this and productivity tips and all kinds of things as we do one new video a day for the next year. That's my challenge this year. Thanks for joining me. Go ahead and click on my head over there. If you don't see a head over there, that's my channel. It's There's a subscribe button somewhere on the page. And if you want to see the latest video that I've done, go ahead and click on that frame and it will play it for you because that's what they do. I'm David Lawrence. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here tomorrow.